That's one thing. Another thing is when your own crowd boo you, when your own football club boo at you. Was that one of the final straws in Newcastle? Uh, no. So when they first booed me, it wasn't because I deserved it. So obviously with the Bobby Robson, I refused to play on the right wing. Uh, we just signed Patrick Cliver. We just signed James Milner. We just signed uh, Nicky Butt. There's no excuses. So competition was red hot. And um, I wanted to play centre midfield that season. Uh, I was competing against Jermaine Genus, Nicky Butt. Um, and I had a very, I've, I had a very good pre-season. Um, so when the team was announced and I was on the right wing, obviously the friendly before when we play Rangers, Craig said he didn't want to play left wing, kicked up a fuss. I know the fans want Patrick Cliver and Shearer. I'm not playing on the left wing. And they were arguing for about 15 minutes and the buzzer was going off for half time and there was still... No, nothing was decided. So I just said, fuck it. I'll play on the left wing. <laughs> and then you lot, we'll sort this after the game. We've got to go out and play. So I'd gone and helped the club, helped the manager, helped my mate Craig, played the game. And um, after the game, I thought the shit was going to hit the fan. And nothing was said. So in my head again, I'm thinking... Oh, okay, cool. I I don't want Craig to get in trouble. So, and obviously we won the game and next game of the season, the season starts for proper. So then when I'm put on the right wing, it was more a stubborn thing. It was a game we touch on when we get to my early childhood, but I had this fuck, hang on a minute. Players are allowed to pick and choose when they want to play. And I've said to you, I want to play sitting in the field, but because I'm some mug and some fool guy, and again, I'm wrong, by the way. I'm not trying to reason, but this is how my mindset's Mindset thinking. It's just right, going, yeah. oh, fucking taking the fucking piss. And this is the manager who wasn't just the manager to me. It was like we had a deeper connection. Like no one, not Shearer, not Craig, I asked. Ask everyone, ask J-Main Genesis. Our relationship wasn't like a manager and a a manager and a player. It was like family members. The way we spoke, the way I spoke to Bobby and he spoke to me, that you you wouldn't it's very un, unique you'd ever see that in a in a in a football club. So so at this stage I was just like you've just signed James Milner. Um, he's a right winger um, play him and I'll bide my time and I'll force my way into the team in the centre midfield and yeah come on son <laughs> yeah he does come on son have a think about it we need you and by this time my stubborn head had gone and um, we played Middlesbrough I come on after about 60 minutes. He brings me on at right wing. <laughs> I'm just like, you can't make this up. He brings me on at right wing. And then Zenden's playing left wing. Zenden goes down the line. I slip. They cross. We can see the last minute goal for them to equalise. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, when it rains, it definitely yeah, pours. Yeah. So then... Um, we're in the change room after the game. My head is scrambled now by this thing. Just more that I've let you the let team down. Yeah. Um, but I still was in my, I was still in my, the way my mind was thinking at that time. Was, I'm in the right. I'm in the right. But obviously I was devastated wow. because I like to win and I don't want us to, to draw. And we had a good team and, we were hoping to compete for the Champions League again. So, so then he goes to do his press conference. And this again, this is when you're talking about a manager. And he's gone to do his press and they must go, we know Kieran refused to play right wing in the press conference and that. And he's lied and protected me. So he comes out in the change room and he goes, son, 
they've they've got the story, but don't worry, I've protected you and that. <laughs> and I'm just like, talk about making you feel even worse that, hang on a minute, I've just <laughs> let you down. I've just let you down and then you're still protecting me. It's just like, that's just a special, unique individual. It's just scary to think. No, most managers would just absolutely, like I've to had drive. soon as soon as we just say he's a discreet, da, 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 but he protected me and I was just like, wow. Um, so after the game is when they have that stupid, friendly, England friendly, um, straight up, literally first game into a new season. So I met up with England. And where's the England game? Wembley was under reconstruction, St. James's James. Park. And I come on at half time um, and the whole crowd booed. Every single fan booed. Um, so then I can remember Freddie Shepherd and Bobby were at the game. And they were like, wow, like, um, this is mad. So then we played Tottenham at home and I was on the bench and we lost. So we didn't start off to a great season. We didn't start off really well. And I come on for like the last 20 minutes again, got booed to hell. Um, and like I said, I'm not, I should they had every right to boo me, but they it was just, I, I was still thinking what I did was right because I was an immature, didn't get the help that I needed at the time. And and that was the game we played. So then J Jermaine Genus got injured against Tottenham and uh, we played Norwich at home. It was a night game. And that was the only time in my career that I wanted to be substituted. I tried so hard and was getting booed so much that every time I tried something, it was like m my left foot was my right. It was yeah. just, and I can remember when my number came up to get subbed, the whole place just erupted like we scored a goal. Like It was that I, intense. It was honestly, and I can remember going into the bath, so it was a night game, so the game would have finished at 7.45, 8.45, round about 9.40. And I sat in the bath afterwards to about 11.30 at night and it was just me in the change room while I fought and there was two physios, Derek Wright, Big Derek and Paul Ferris and they come and they used to stay behind and have a fears and they were like, have a beer. And I was just like, I can't, it can't, surely it's got to get better. And they were like, Phew. they couldn't even reassure me. So um, we only drew that game two all. Craig scored two against his old club. But then the pressure was mounting on Bobby. And then we played Aston Villa away. And he comes and pulls me and he says, I'm going to leave you out of the squad altogether. And I'm like, you should have been leaving me out of the home games. <laughs> away yeah, well, yeah. away fans, there's less fans, but away fans are usually good. Cool. And this is a game that you'd need to win. Um, but again, he wanted to protect me, take me out of the firing line up, and then we ended up losing. He, he left out Shearer, he dropped Shearer, uh, played Patrick and Craig. We played really well that day. I can remember watching from the director's box. I think we were going 1 0 up early, and we ended up losing. And then Bobby lost his job. So that was always on my conscience. And when he had to say his goodbyes and that. I just hugged him and, you know, when you just don't want to let go. It was pretty brutal, to be honest, that I had to live with that. And at the time, <laughs> I couldn't come out and give my reasons why. Listen, again, I could have a hundred million reasons. If a manager asks you to play for a football club, you play for a football club, then you have your beef afterwards. But... I didn't want to come out with my side of the story because Craig would have got it in the, Craig would have got it. So I was protecting my friend as well, even though it was killing me even more. I didn't want Craig to go down that same path as well. So um So when you said was that the the final straw, that wasn't because like you said Obviously, I 
deserved it. Then I won them back over with my performances. Soonest comes in and I played some great football. I won them back over and then um, then the Lee Bowyer thing happened. I thought, here we go, I'm going to go back to square one. Um, and they were good as gold for me and it was my final season. So I was injured for the first couple of months of the season and um, we were bottom of the league. And my first game back... Sorry, is Craig gone by now? Yeah, Craig's gone. Craig's... Craig's... <laughs> Craig, stick around Craig long didn't enough. last long with Gray and Seamus. Nice, that yeah. was just uh, that was just never going to happen. Yeah, and um, I literally came back into the team. The first game was at Emirates. I scored on my comeback game, and and I'm not being big headed when I say this, but Newcastle would have been relegated that year if it wasn't for me, Oberfemme Martins, and Scott Parker. So we we kept up. And we played the last game of the season and it was against Watford. And we were warming up by our fans. And the fans didn't really take a shine to Stephen Carr, who was our fullback at the time. And they went through, we were doing a warm up and they sung every player's name except for me and Stephen Carr. And I just thought, you know what? They're tired of me. They're done with me. Like, and I ended up scoring in that game as well. I scored to put us one nil up, and I didn't even celebrate. I was just like, "Yeah, they're bored of me. Um, whatever I do is never going to be good enough." Um, and again, like I said, I didn't blame the the fans because. Like you said, I I did let them down on numerous occasions, but this no, is when I was feeling. this is when I was maturing as a player, as a person, and they probably would have seen the best of me. But like you said, at that time, Craig had left, Jermaine Genus had left. Maybe it was my time to leave, and yeah, yeah. so um, yeah, I left were- that season. 